year football phone in special with the Scottish Sun Rangers in crisis. Call the real radio football phone in now on 0845 102 101. Always mention to Ruffy and DJ, you can tell when you've got a good topic when everybody's still talking about it in the break, and uh, I think that's the case here. Uh, Kevin's in Clyde Bank. Kevin, welcome to the Real Radio Football Phone. And what would you like to say? Yes, hello. Hi, hello, Kevin. Kevin. Right, first of all, I'd like to correct some uh, and give some truth here and correct some of the, the mistakes and uh, people have given. Yeah, by the way. Can I ask you, Duff and Phelps are still the court appointed administrators of Rangers as we speak, yes? Yes, it's about to be handled, handed over to the BDO. Over. BDO. Yeah. Right, so and liquidation. So what we've got then is Mr Doncaster and Mr Regan severely compromised because they've asked every single club in Scotland to vote. Well, two outstanding issues are still at Rangers' door, even criminal accusations. That's the EBT and the big tax case. Probably the longer the big tax case takes longer to drop, it'll be far worse for Rangers with more criminal activity being investigated. That's why maybe the delay. But what I would like to suggest to you is that with so much happening, you know, what, what has been put forward the Rangers, uh, I, I think it's, you know, they, they shouldn't even be in Division 3. Uh, the debate, you know, for Gretna, Gretna were put in 2008 into the Easter Scotland Football Week. Other teams, such as Spartans, have every right to come into the play and ask why they're not being, uh, you know, put forward for it. And, 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 and answering one of your points, he says, what penalty has been met out to Rangers just now. We've got two cups, we've got Sevco 5088, and we've got the Rangers Football Club. Now, you see there, there was a fine of 160,000. Now, that fine was given prior to liquidation, and so all liquidation, all monies are null and void. So, quite uh, correctly, Rangers Football Club have suffered no penalties for the liquidation to date. They have suffered no penalties uh, for the EBT, and the ruling is probably going to come along and say that this was an illegal use of these rules and I would have to pay respects out to all the people out there with the Rangers tax case, eminent bloggers, Jerry Coogan and, and uh, Tony McKelvey and, and Paul McConnell, people who have educated the Scottish people as to the rights and wrongs. I myself confess plagiarist and I'm taking stuff from the Rangers tax case because they have spoken the truth and Rangers as a football club should not be playing in any division and many people are predicting this is what's going to happen because if Mr Doncaster and Mr Reagan are serious then they're, about what they're saying about allowing Rangers into uh, Scottish Football 1 or whatever any division should not be allowed because the EBT, if that is against them then every game for the last 10 years is a 3-0 defeat Rangers on that basis should be kicked out of football why is this not being discussed and there is alternatives to the Sky deal instead of being dictated to by a corrupt organisation as it is to do... Uh, Hold on a minute, Kevin. I, I have to stop you there. Um, just on your last point, uh, uh, and immediately uh, take you to task. Um, quite simply, the programme uh, offers a platform for people to put uh, an opinion over. Uh, if you're suggesting that Rangers should be kicked out of football and Rangers are no more, uh, that's a thing that we can all debate. If you're suggesting uh, corruption uh, from broadcast companies, then I have to stop you there because uh, you're obviously uh, treading on very, very dangerous water indeed. Uh, let me deal with the issue, which is Rangers kicked out of football completely and no Rangers. That's just ludicrous. Um, you know, lots of companies down through the years, uh, not just talking about football, may well have been guilty of crimes. You pay penalties. That doesn't necessarily mean that you have to kill them off completely. No, I totally agree. I, I think Kevin's just gone off in one there. And um, to, to suggest that Rangers know more, what we've been debating and most most sensible-minded fans across the board have basically been saying what, what division they would put them into. But to suggest that they would take them into extinction for things that are not even been proven yet. Uh, and, and we've also been talking about the financial implications and the state of Scottish football, which is trying to take a step back and look for the greater good. Mm. And uh, I don't see where Kevin's come from at all. I don't think on this programme, certainly since I've joined, we have in any way shirked the issue that Rangers deserve to be punished. I think Kevin does make a good point there, Ian. That quite simply, as I said to you before this programme started, Rangers have had a £160,000 fine. Nothing else at the moment. What they are suffering today is quite simply, as a new company to come in, the SPL said no. Yep, yeah, I agree with that. Uh, and I think uh, the, the other sanctions that they've, they've suffered, like the 10-point penalty out of Europe for three years, are things 
they were in associations, football associations, when they signed up to them. You know, they were rules that they knew about. If they went in any administration, that was what happened. If they went in any liquidation, that was what happened with UEFA. So they knew that. But I agree with Alec. I mean, I don't understand where Kevin's coming from with that one because uh, you look at that and Rangers are Scottish football. I think at some point Kevin's got to take a step back and look at the good of the entire game and not just one party's agenda. Thanks to Kevin. Thanks to Ian King of The Sun. He'll be back with us tomorrow night, along with Alec Ray. Thanks to Richard Goff, Derek Johnson, Charlie Miller, all speaking about Rangers and the predicament. Hopefully you can join us tomorrow if you can for more talk. Full phone in special with The Scottish Sun. In Scotland, the sun comes out every day.